You are amazing. Thank you for being here to celebrate. And let me tell you this. Spring is here, my friends, and a new chapter begins. In this campaign, New Democrats promise to get Ottawa working for you and your family. Tonight's response, Canadians responded in record numbers all across the land. Tonight, Canadians voted to improve health care. Public health care. You voted to strengthen retirement security and to lift every senior out of poverty. You voted to help families make ends meet. You voted to grow our economy with new jobs and new opportunities. And you voted to end the same old debates and political games. Ce soir, les Canadiens ont voté pour améliorer le régime public des soins de santé. Public health care system. Vous avez voté pour you une meilleure sécurité des revenus de retraite. Better re uh, and more secure Vous avez retirement voté income. Pour aider les familles you à voted to help families make ends meet. Et vous avez voté pour you une voted économie qui offre for de nouveaux emplois an economy et that offers new jobs and new opportunities. Et vous avez voté pour and mettre fin you also voted to put an end to the old political debates and games that came back again and again too often. My friends, these are my commitments to you, and I will work every day to earn the trust that you have put in me and my team. Un peu plus tôt. My friends, you've got some, uh, you've got some pent-up enthusiasm here, it would seem. Well, we're going to put you all to work making change happen through the House of Commons. A peu plus tôt. A little earlier, I spoke to Stephen Harper, and I congratulated him on his victory. It was a considerable accomplishment and an incredible responsibility. I add my voice to those of all Canadians to wish good luck to Mr. Harper, and I told him that I would be happy to work with his party, his party and all parties in order to achieve concrete results for families. And I also shared with him my desire to adopt a more positive and respectful tone in Parliament. I plan on having a meeting with him as soon as possible in order to discuss the different means of obtaining results for Canadian families. A short while ago, I spoke to uh, Stephen Harper and I congratulated him on his victory. It's a significant, it's a significant accomplishment, my friends, and a heavy responsibility. And I join all Canadians in wishing him well. I let Mr. Harper know that I look forward to working with his party and, in fact, all parties to get things done for our families. And I. Sh And I shared with him my desire 
to bring a more positive and respectful tone to Parliament. I look forward, I look forward to meeting with him as soon as possible to discuss how we can get results for Canadian families, because that's what should be going on in the House of Commons each and every day. I would also like to congratulate Michael Ignatieff on a hard-fought and respectful campaign. While the, while the results were clearly not what he and the Liberals were hoping for, Mr. Ignatieff put forward a vision of Canada focused on strengthening health care and helping out families, and New Democrats share these values. And I look forward to working with our Liberal colleagues to make progress on these urgent priorities. Rossi, I would also offer my congratulations to Jean Sepp for the work années, that he did for many years. Despite the fact that we have different visions for the future of the country, we share the same faith in democracy and a thirst just. for a fairer society. And to Elizabeth May, my sincere congratulations for her achievement tonight. My friends, Canadians have asked New Democrats to take on more responsibility in Parliament. For the first time in our history, they have asked us to serve as Canada's official opposition. as New Democrats in the House of Commons each and every day to earn the trust that Canadians have placed in us. And I want to say that I've always favoured proposition over opposition. But we will oppose the government when it's off track. And we'll support positive suggestions that will bring forward and support the government when it's making progress. As I have done throughout my public life, I will propose constructive solutions focused on helping Canadians. And we will do that in the best New Democrat tradition. We're going to focus on economic growth and fiscal responsibility. We're going to focus, we're going to focus on lifting Canadians out of poverty. We're going to focus on tackling the crisis of climate change. We're going to focus. We're going to focus on having Canada's voice be a voice for peace in the world. All of this in the context of responsible public management of our debt and making sure that the economy is managed the way it needs to be managed. With, with fairness as a fundamental principle. We're committed to making progress carefully and prudently, a practical step at a time, just as we have every time our party has assumed office in this country. Je dis à tous les Canadiens qu'ils peuvent compter sur nous. To assume our faithfulness responsibilities with humility and faithfulness with regard to our obligations. We're going to oppose the government with vigor if it uh, is on the wrong path. And we will also support it when it helps Canada to make progress. We're going to offer positive and constructive suggestions every day in the House of Commons. Throughout my public life, I will, I have, and I will continue to offer positive solutions to put our country on the right path. You can count on New Democrats to bring people together across political and regional divides. 
You can count on us to begin building a new relationship with First Nations and Aboriginal Canadians. to ensure that Parliament is addressing the needs of new Canadians. We're going to focus on making life more affordable and reuniting families and giving a boost to small business. You can count on New Democrats to work to improve Canada's environmental sustainability and our standing in the world. You can count on us to ensure that our brave veterans get the respect and opportunities and care they deserve when they come home. And starting tomorrow morning, you can count on New Democrats to get down to work for Canadian families. My friends, Canadians have elected a new generation of New Democrat MPs from every part of our country. Women and women and men with experience in Parliament. Thank you. I want to tell you about our new members. These are women and men with experience in Parliament, at other levels of government, in their communities. Importantly, the people of Quebec have sent a large New Democrat team to Ottawa. Je veux remercier I les would Québécois. like to thank Quebecers for the trust that they placed in me équipe. and in my team. Et je tiens à dire à I tous les would Québécois, also like to say to all Quebecers that it's time for change and we're going to bring about change. We heard your message, a message for change and for hope. As all other Canadians, you want Ottawa to work for your families and your communities. Your representatives in the NDP will fight every day and keep in mind the desire for change that you expressed and the hope that you hold. You express this very clearly and we won't forget it because this hope for a better life brings people together from across the country. Now, my friends, there are many people to thank tonight, too many to name, but I will single out a few. First, thank you to the people of the great riding of Toronto, Danforth. It has been a tremendous honor for me to serve, and I'm humbled that you once again have asked me to represent you in Parliament. To my to my wonderful wife Olivia and and my member of parliament to my son Mike, my daughter Sarah, and their partners and my wonderful little Beatrice, my granddaughter, who's here, still awake tonight. And to both my mom and Olivia's mom, thank you for your support and for your love. And to all of the candidates who stepped forward for the NDP, I thank you from the bottom of my heart. 
to every candidate and volunteer from every party. Your contribution strengthened our country and our democracy, and especially to the tens of thousands of young Canadians, some of whom voted for the very first time. Canadians are an inspiration and a source of hope for our country's future. À tous les candidats qui to ont fait all the candidates pour PD, je vous who read, ran a campaign for the NDP, I thank you from the bottom of my heart. And I'd also like to thank the tens of thousands of young Canadians who got involved in this campaign, your source of inspiration for us all. I have greater confidence in the future of our country. It's an historic night for New Democrats, and you should all take you should all take great pride in our achievement. But it's important to remember that tonight's res result didn't come about in 35 days. It's been 50 years of the, in the making. And I think of all the people who came before us the millions of men and women who believed so passionately in a more fair society, and they refused to give up. Often in the face of overwhelming odds, we stand on the shoulders of these giants. Your voices have been heard tonight. The success we've achieved, my friends, in this election belongs to you. My friends, we live in the greatest country in the world. It's a country that was built through hard work and determination and the rock-solid belief that if we stick together, there is no challenge we cannot overcome. It is the Canadian way, and tonight, Canadians voted to revive that spirit in Ottawa. Canadians voted out of hope for change, for a Canada where families come first and where no one is left behind. <laughs> New Democrats will work to put that hope into action because although the election is ended, the work has just begun. Ce soir, les Canadiens This evening, pour Canadians voted for a change Ils in Ottawa. They also voted for hope, for progress, cooperation, all of this in the common interest. They asked us clearly to bring these values to Parliament, and we are going to be the means through which this new approach will make its entry into Ottawa. Now, my friends, now that the campaign is at an end, we're going to get down to work and to obtain results for each one of you. This evening, you demonstrated that you would no longer accept politics as it was being practiced that you deserve more and that you wanted to start again to believe in those who represent you. Tommy Douglas said, Tommy Douglas, our first leader, said, dream no little dreams. And I've always taken that to heart. Step by step, working together, we can build the Canada we want, a country worthy of the hopes and dreams of those young Canadians who said no to the same old cynicism, to the negativity, to the politics of usual. And they said yes to a Canada where anything is possible, where we all stick together and no one is left behind. So my friends, it's time to roll up our sleeves and get down to work and let's not stop until the job is done. Thank you all very much. Merci beaucoup. An historic night for